Right, today we are not beating around the bush. We are gonna take out the brand new camera from SJ Cam. It is called the SJ20. It is the world's first dual lens action camera. And we're gonna put it up against the Insta360 Ace Pro. No B-roll, if you want the specs, you can find them down on the website, but let's take it out and actually see what it looks like, what it sounds like. A little bit of um, a story though behind this. SJ Cam did get in touch with me in September, said they would send me the prototype. I never got it, so that's why they sent me the um, mass production version. The mass production comes in a fairly large box, but that's because you get an underwater case, because this thing is only waterproof to about, I think, five meters, 16 foot. You get a little, like, cage, and you get a big cage, and some accessories, right? Now, the, the little cage is to put the camera in. We get that, yeah? It's, it's really flimsy, by the way. It's very, very flimsy. But you can also, you also get a battery, which you click on the bottom, and when you have the battery in there, you can put it in the big cage that you get, because you also get the big cage, right? It's, it's, it's a little, it's, it's confusing. It's all very confusing. But okay, to get the um, battery off, it's a little bit difficult, and it's a little bit painful on your fingers, but you can, can, get, you can get it off. And it's also got another, because this has a battery inside, so you can put the battery on, and you can also get a stick with a battery inside that you charge via USB-C which has a little button for the battery and a little button for the camera. That's all great. That's fine and dandy. Now, they wrote to me that this is the first action camera with dual lenses, one for night vision, which has an f1.3 aperture. What? We're going to see if that's any good. And one for daytime, which has an f2 aperture, right? Um, optimum 4K imaging quality at a price of $230. It's $499 on B&H, by the way, as a pre-order. It has a built-in battery, which is 800 milliamp hours. This is 1,050 milliamp hours, and this is 4,800 milliamp hours. So it's 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 a lot. Um, so dual screens, dual screens, dual dual screens, live streaming, etc. This is not paid, by the way. They basically sent it to me, test it out, and I thought it would be a cool video to put up against the Ace Pro and show you what a camera from SJ Cam looks like, especially a Red Dot 2023 winner. So like I said, if you want any of the specs, you can find them down below. One thing I can tell you that 4K 30 is the only thing I can choose. There's no 24, 25 frames. There's no 60, um, unless you go into the slow motion version, which just says minus two, minus four, minus eight. Um, so we are going to try the minus 4 against the 120 frames per second in the Ace Pro and see what that looks like when I'm jumping off a wall. And we're also going to show them both next to each other at night time. I've talked way too much. Let's go outside and see what these sound and look like. Right, before we go outside, I just want to show you what they look like in the studio. The Insta360 looks pretty cool. The... Um... <laughs> The SJ Cam is a little bit wild, but um, it's it's a lot narrower. It really is. This is what they look like, and you can see that there is a massive difference between these two cameras. Massive. Right, let's go outside. Right, so we are outside now, and uh, I'm going to take a little stroll this way, so you guys can see what this looks like. The Insta360 Ace Pro is a lot wider than the um, SJ20. And um, this is a hotel that is coming down. It's coming down bit by bit. I am documenting it in all my videos. It's a shame, because it was a pretty cool hotel. Now, I can see that the stabilization on the Insta360 is a lot better. It's actually on standard. Whereas the stabilization on the SJ20 is on, but um, I don't know what it looks like. It looks like a really sharp image. And I do have it on the daytime lens. Now, if I want to switch so I can see myself on the front screen, I actually have to hold and press the M button. And then I can see myself. But I think it stops recording. So let's check. I'm going to count to 10 and we'll see what happens. All right, this is me now. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Right, that is um, that was me counting. I think I I think it stops recording and it starts recording again. But um, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the Ace Pro is in D warp, so it's my favorite mode 
and the um, SJ20 is in its mode, which is basically, you know, turning off distortion, correcting distortion. <sighs> I don't know what to think. Um, I, it's, it's a really small screen, and it's quite dark. It looks a little bit weird. It can only do 4K30. There is no 25. There is no 24. Um, and I know the Action 4 has a tiny screen. And the GoPro. And they both do a good job, but... Yeah, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I'm, I'm skeptical. And this is the first time, me using it, I have not put it on my computer yet. I basically got it today. I thought, right, I'm going to experience this with you guys. So right now, we're experiencing this all together. And I have no idea what the audio sounds like coming from the SJ Cam. Both of these have got wind reduction on because it is a little bit of a windy day. So we have wind reduction on. And um, yeah, let's, um, well, I'm, I'm interested in terms of the sharpness. I know that the Ace Pro, if I hold it too close, it might not have sharpness on the face. Um, the SJ Cam seems pretty similar in terms of distance when it comes to um, focus. But the one thing that I am worried about is sound, because as we all know, an image doesn't have to always look great. But if the sound is off, you don't really want to listen to, you know, to whoever's talking much longer. The colors, there are a few odd things in the camera. You can change the color of the screen, the, the LCD, which is something you should probably never, ever be able to change. It should be like a MacBook where... It's all one color, you know, it's, you can't change it. You changing the um, Kelvin, the temperature, you can actually change it, but you don't see what temperature it's at few things about this camera which I think need to be rethought, need to be fixed before, you know, before you should buy it. But um, definitely a firmware update because when you're using the menu system, it's quite difficult to use because it feels like MS-DOS. You know, it feels like a menu system that was in a camera from, I don't know, 2006, something like that. Anyway, let's jump off this little step and see what the uh, stabilization does. Yeah. Now, my favorite jump. I'm going to put the camera here and I'm going to jump and we're going to try the um, slow motion. Slow motion is weird because it says minus two, minus four, minus eight. We're going to do minus four because I'm guessing that's going to be 120 frames per second. And um, we're going to see what they look like compared to each other. Right, I'm just watching this back for the first time ever, and I've got to apologize straight away for the audio. I know it's not my fault, but I have the audio on every single shot from the SJ Cam SJ20 on plus 12 decibels. It is maxed out. It won't go any higher, and you can hear it. It's, it's bad, but I am letting you guys hear it so you can decide for yourselves. To me, I know every company starts somewhere. But this is not a camera that you can buy. I can't recommend this to anybody. The sound, the video quality, the fact that the audio doesn't always match the, 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 the actual image. It's, it's, it's painful. This feels like a camera that has an OS system from 2005, 2006. It's very difficult to use. It's not comfortable. It's not intuitive like the Ace Pro or the Action 4 or even the Hero 12, it is not intuitive. You have to press and hold the mode button for it to go to the front screen. There you go. Now it goes to the front screen. There you go. And then you can't do anything here because it won't allow you. So you can't change settings. So you have to press and hold the mode button again for it to go back right there. Um, I have broken off one of the little um, electronic connections, trying to put it on the thing. It, it just snapped. It's it's 
the, the screen is 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 horrific. Um, it it just feels like this camera needs a lot more work to get it to a you know to, to sell, and it's two hundred dollars. You know, you pay a little bit more, save your money. Really, save your money, pay a little bit more, and go for the Ace Pro or the Action Four Hero Talk. Any one of those free cameras is really going to be a million times better than this. I would be extremely frustrated using this camera. It's still not dark outside, so I'm going to go out in a minute and try the low light, just out of interest, just to finish this video. But right now, mm -mm, no, I'm I'm sorry, SJ Cam, but um, I'm being honest here. This is this is really it's I can't use it. Let's get back to this. Another odd thing is that on the screen, my face looks yellow on the SJ20. Um, and right now, I have switched it to distortion correction off. And I've put the Insta360 Ace Pro in action, so it's widest mode, which is really distorted, as you can see. So both of them are now on distorted. Uh, before, you were watching the Ace Pro in... Um, in D-Warp, which is basically it's kind of clean cut distortion correction on, just like the um, just like the SJ20. Now, thing I'm I'm not really a fan of is calling cameras SJ20 or X702. Um, the Ace Pro is a nice name, as is the Hero 12. And um, let's walk through here. This is a hotel. It's the Hilton Hotel. And um, we're going to walk through, and we're going to go to the other side, and um, we're going to see what everything looks like in here and sounds like. I bet it's really, really echoey. Oh, there's the popo. They're probably looking for me. Anyway, this is um, yeah, it's interesting walking around with this camera. I mean, the the, the colours look really off, like crazy off, and everything, by the way, is set to normal. So we have sharpness normal or standard we have all the different colors everything is basically set to normal so this is what it looks like in normal and I have to take off the correction because I can't stand looking like that the um, correction looks absolutely wild I can't look at that distortion let's change it right that is much better and that's what they look like actually the sky today is insanely beautiful um, another thing that I don't like is that to change the settings, I need to press and hold the button so that the front screen turns off and the back screen turns on, and then I can change the settings. That is um, a little bit annoying, and it really slows you down. Anyway, let's look at this sky out here. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So walking here, I have basically turned the Insta360 Ace Pro screen down, whereas the screen on the um, SJ20, I haven't turned down because I can't see it and I'm looking basically at a black screen so that's um, a little bit frustrating but yeah this is what it looks like the sky looks sunny it looks like a really nice day to go out and drone but um, I think I've forgotten how to do that so yeah so that is basically what these two look like in slow motion what they sound like I think we could take a, like a couple of photos and um, you can guys have a look at those and see if the photos are any good we can compare them the Ace Pro has pretty good photos, but you know, who buys an action cam for photos, right? Right, when it comes to the photos, the SJ Cam SJ20 actually holds its own. I'm not happy that it doesn't have a 4x3 photo mode, because I prefer a classic photo mode than a 16x9 mode. But generally using this camera has been difficult. It's not easy to use. It's got a lot of weird quirks. The sound doesn't always match the video. The colors are quite off. And it's just, it just feels like an unpolished camera that needs a lot, a lot of work for it to be usable. That's my honest opinion with this camera. Right, so another thing that you're probably gonna notice is that on the SJ20, we don't have face metering, but I have you know, center metering on, but on the Ace Pro we have face metering on. So even if I'm here with HDR off, this is what you can see on the Ace Pro. Which is completely different than what you can see on the SJ20. Anyway, I'm gonna go and grab something to eat, wait about an hour or two, and then try the night mode and that's it. I don't think you guys need any more from these, um, these two cameras. You know what the Ace Pro can do, and you're gonna know 
when we see the 1.3 f1.3 lens what the SJ20 can do. So it is finally night time and this is what everything looks like on these two cameras. The Ace Pro is in pure video mode with stabilization on and the SJ20 is in video mode with stabilization on. And we're gonna have a little walk and then guess what? We're gonna run. Now I will not be stopping it to change to the front screen but you guys can see what this all looks like here. Now on the screen I'm not gonna lie to you the SJ20 looks pretty impressive in night mode. I mean I can I think it actually is seeing in the night but it's it's blue. It is very very blue. Oh my god it stinks here. I think somebody's been to the toilet around here in the bushes but oh yeah look at look at these two cameras the they're both on auto everything this is what they look like and um let's look at me i'm going to use the um ace pro to to see myself the oh, it really it stinks around here and um hopefully the sj20 can see me as well I'm going to go to Piotrkowska and I'm going to make a fool out of myself and I'm going to run down the road as I normally do. Um, I know this is something that my friend um, Matthew likes watching and believe it or not, I think that the car is still there. Yeah, it is. Like, this actually pisses me off so much. Tomorrow is the 1st of February and the damn car, the Christmas car, is still on the street. I want to get on with my life and not think about Oh, there's a little kid getting in the car. Oh my god. I don't want to think about Christmas on the 1st of February. Let's run. You better get out of that car. Come on. Adults want to get in the car. He's going to be there forever. <laughs> this is what it looks like running. Now the um, stabilization on the Ace Pro is pretty incredible and it's almost unbreakable unless you're using a gimbal. So it's unlikely pocket free. But um, I have an idea what it looks like on this camera. Like I said, I can't see myself. Or is the kid still in the car? Oh, come on. Well, we might have to walk around here and wait for a second. Oh, they're telling him to get out. His mum's telling him to get out. That's good. So this is the car and this is what it looks like. And these are the Christmas trees, which should not be here on the last day of this month. And that's a little bit ridiculous, right? Come on. Right, I can get in the car. He's gone. He's gone. Let's get in. Matthew, this is for you. Drone creative, by the way. He doesn't do too many drones anymore. It's more um, just creative stuff, like cameras. And He wants to do a dishwasher, because he saw me get a dishwasher. Um... So, yeah, he's, he's branching out. It's not only drones Matthew's doing nowadays. Like Darren. Darren's, Darren's um, you know, DM Productions. He, he wants to do dishwashers like me, but I don't think either of them have the balls, really. We'll see. Anyway, this is what this looks like. And um, let's run back to the studio. Here we go. Here we go. Right, I've got to tell you, that's about it for today. I, I think I've seen enough. I'm very interested to see what this looks like. Really interested to see what this looks like. And if it's any good with its f1.3 lens. Like, subscribe, do all that jazz, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.